how to build an elevator in Juego Fortnite. It doesn't break. It's great. And I'm going to show you how to do it in multiple variations. Oh, but that tire is crazy. First step, get you some 16 by 16 foundation. I'm going to use gray to color code it a little bit. Place it down and find your entrance. Mine is going to be marked by this little gray 4x16. And then get you some more 4x16s and place them on the side. Lock into place so you don't mess up. Make it symmetrical. And it should look like that. Now, for your entrance, go ahead and place you a 4x4. Maybe even a post too, but in this case, 4x4 is easier. On the very edge, flush. Move it back once. Do the same thing for the other sides as well. So in this case, we go in the center though. And back one. So on the wood blocks, center, back one, center, back one, center, back one. And then build it up as high as you want to. The sky's the limit. I'm not going to do that though. It's already been done. Once you're at the top of the height you want to go to, go ahead and place you. You can go ahead and place a 4x16 for ease, but you can do a, a bunch of different things. You can place a foundation block at the top. This is just simple. You place a 4x16 and you add some tires. I like the small ones because they just don't interfere as much. Sometimes the elevator can get hung up on the tire. You just hit the switch and it goes back down, but it ruins the immersion. On the small ones though, I haven't had that happen. So there's that. And maybe there's like a better formation you can do. I'm just throwing darts at the wall here. Now at the bottom, do the same thing, place tires. The big ones are fine. I haven't had to get hung up there. You could also use small ones though. For the actual cabin in the elevator, whatever it's called. It's like the elevator shaft. I don't know. Get you some more 4x16 foundation and place it at a height you can work with. Maybe you can build stairs if you need to, but that is a manageable height for me. Then place you a dynamic foundation. Lock in the, the pillar behind it. It'll just fall down. Glide down if you will. And on each of the corners, place a small thruster. I have an experiment with big thrusters. I don't trust it. The science... Isn't soundproof for that. But small ones, it's fine. It just takes a little bit longer to get to where you need to go. Once those are placed, go up top. Maybe place your activation switch. That can go later though, doesn't matter. Go to your support beams and pick whatever you want to use. I like rustic pillars. I'm going to use that. And place it in each of the corners. This one's a bit finicky though because it's, it's only got three points of connection. Technically. And now go back to dynamic foundations and top it off. I am going to use, wait, this is, oh, this one's weird. That's right. This one's a bit different. It's the same concept as before, except the only difference is, so on the, on the other one, I only put one pillar on the left side. On this one, there's one on the right side as well. It's the same thing, except there's, there's more obstruction, I guess. So you place it on top. Usually, if this pillar isn't here, you can line it up by looking at this, but, you know, I'm built different. I do this all day. Now for balloons, if you want to go up you just place four balloons and you just put them in the blue circles it's really simple that way and then you break this it falls down staircase boom clean elevator that's for going up hit the stopper real quick nice and it won't get detached now real quick do builds take more damage in survival? Can people prove that? Because I always hear, I hear all the time, well, this work in survival because it's taking damage. They, they don't break. Like these don't, these have never broken on me. I'm just mad confused. Now, if you want to go down, get on the top of the, the, uh, the shaft thingy, pause, and then place your balloons in this order. You go to the very corner and you go one back, I guess. And you need eight balloons total for this. You could maybe use a big balloon, but it, look, it would look really weird. Alright, that one was being sketch. Sir. Don't do it. Oh, please. Nice. The order of that can vary. I just want to do it that way. For some reason, that pillar was being a little non-cooperative. And actually, what you should have done is place a thruster in the middle of this. Yeah, you should have done... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how about this? You place a thruster first. If you mess up like I did, it's fine. Place a big thruster in the middle. Is that middle? I, I can't tell. Please calm down. Thank you, sir. Sir, it's the Wendy's. I can't tell. 
It seems middle enough to me. If you can do math on that, it's I think it's seven in, it's seven up, seven left. Something like that. Oh, that was smart. You start with the balloons on this side. Wait, whatever. And now we go down. And this side has all small balloons. So when they're all small balloons, the staircase works perfectly. And I put six up here, I made it a bit more fancy. I did it off camera. And it won't break your thruster. It just doesn't care. The thruster's like, doesn't mind it at all. The elevator I'm going to build in survival is gonna look like this. Get a two by four by 12, go to a side and angle, place it flush, go back one, and then go off the edge one. And I did that for every single side already. I'm gonna build it as high as I need to. And when I build the actual cart, I go ahead and get some foundations. Four by four works just great. And I place those on the side. Probably build it a little high so you have some space to work with and place your thrusters. Then get you your actual 4x16. And it's the same same exact protocol as before. I'm going to move it one away so I don't get too messed up. Because the main thing here is to not connect anything on your dynamic foundation to the walls. If you do that, bad news. Because then the, your, your thing won't move. It's conjoined with your building. That's why you built one space back on every single corner. So nothing gets connected to the foundation that we don't want to connect to, get connected to the dynamic foundation. And from there, build it how you want. I don't suggest building two elevators next to each other. I think it gets a little weird. So if you want to build an elevator that goes up and one, go, one that goes down, just build one space away from your existing build. So you connect one away. The model of elevator where you're one off these sides works pretty well. You don't get stuck that often. You can get stuck on the tires, but all you do is press the switch again and it detaches. I think it normally only happens if you're running into it for a while. The model of elevator where you're con you're connected with no space in between the sides, pillars and get and whatnot. That freaking sound is always so jarring. I, I, I'll point it out sometime. I'm sorry, it's r ridiculous. But when you place your freaking dynamic foundation and it is point blank zero space in between, it'll work. But when you add any weight that goes that way, at a certain point, it gets weird. So having a space in between your elevators, however you decide to build it, that is the method I suggest. I believe I now know why elevators get stuck at the top. The balloons are going through the ceiling. To stop that, if you're using a flat roof, go ahead and put two of these 8x8x2s and then stack your small tires on top of that. That way balloons won't go through the roof. Or go ahead and use a 4x8x16 foundation and your balloon still won't go through the roof and that way you won't have that problem. Wait, right, thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. Comment if you want to. Share it with a friend if you really want. And maybe consider using credit code ODO at checkout in the game store. Hashtag ad. But anywho, have a good day. Peace.